great, great, great Kooji Chaglier and great Kaumba. We're going to get into it. Hold on. But first off, I want to welcome you to the congregation of the mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Giami Journey Media. I am your host, Brother Hatchet. Of course, you know this is the heart of a Simba production all day, every day. And we are on, on our thing, Toast, in the week of Kaumba. Let me know, Simba. <laughs> Now we gonna strive, strive, strive to blow up your old paradigms. Man, in those paradigms we are blowing up. Actually, I got my paradigm blown up this morning, at least one of them. I'm making a thumbnail for some productions that I've been working on. You know what I'm saying? Future productions. And Canva has dropped some new uh some new apps or functions that you could do with AI. It's incredible. It's incredible. Man, is this blowing up paradigms? No, no, anime. That's the lightning explosion. Blowing up blew up my paradigm this morning. So let me let me tell you. What I did was I plugged. I plugged. I did nothing but plug in the picture that you're looking at right now. And the function allowed me to turn it either into an email, a blog post, or even get some, uh, get a critique of the, the picture to let me know how to make it better. Let me, y'all, y'all didn't hear me. It turned it into a blog post. It turned it into an email that I could send to my email list. And it also critiqued the flyer or the thumbnail to let me know how I could make it better. I don't know if y'all heard that. But anyway, let's get to it today because we're talking about uh, empowering your digital journey, steps to true self and steps to true self in the digital renaissance. All right, so let's get into it. Empower your digital journey, steps to true self in the digital renaissance. All right, tribe, as we navigate, um, anime. Anime, can I get some music, baby, please? Please, huh? Okay, she gonna, you gonna give me some music? Can you turn it up nice and slow for me and just just fade it in just a little bit? All right, because I, I think we got some young people listening. One of my friends called me, told me that some of his kids thought that I was him. So I just want to show y'all that the person that you think is me is not me. That guy is a little bit more handsome than me. I and, and his voice is a little bit deeper and, 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 and more and beautiful. You know what I'm saying? So if you sit somewhere with the, who you think I am, you need to listen to him. Cause he's pretty smart. But I ain't him. And he's not me. So y'all can stop all that discussion that y'all have because he told me that y'all disrupted the whole class trying to prove that I was who I'm not. And he is not who you think he is. Well, anyway, let's get to it. We're on Our Thing Podcast, hosted by Brother Hot Tim, who's not who you think he is. Tribe, as we navigate the vast expanse of the digital renaissance, the principle of Kuji Chagalia, also known as self-determination, shines brighter than ever. In an age where information is at our fingertips, we have the unique opportunity to harness this knowledge, not just to inform, but to empower our very essence. 
Harness the vast knowledge of the digital age to empower your journey of self-determination. Let's let every click be a step toward your true self. But how do we bring this principle to life? Here are three steps to guide you. Create your digital space. Curate your digital space. Curate your digital space. Be intentional about the content you consume. Follow platforms and creators that align with your values and aspirations. Let your digital environment be a reflection of your journey towards self-determination. Number two, engage in digital learning. Dive deep into online courses, webinars, and resources that resonate with your passions. Knowledge is power. And in this digital renaissance, it's more accessible than ever. Three, reflect and realign. Regularly take a step back from the digital world. Reflect on your online experience, ensuring that they align with your path of self-determination. Adjust and align as needed. Tribe, as we celebrate Kawumba this week, let's remember that our creativity combined with the principal coach Shakalia can lead us to unparalleled heights in this digital renaissance. Define your path, harness the knowledge, and let your true self shine. I hope this message serves as an inspiring lesson for your tribe, for your class, for your group, for whatever, whoever, and whatever is listening. Emphasizing the principle Kuji Chagalia in the context of this week's theme. That means we have to discuss what we're discussing right now in the make. Can you put the choir on? Where my choir at? Can I get my choir, please? Choir, could you come on just a little bit? Let me know. It's the problem. Uh, uh, time. Proverb time. Proverb time. Proverb time. Proverb time. Proverb of the day, proverb of the day. Can I get my music back, please? Can we get the technical people to work on? Because I want to be able to do all this at the same time. I don't know. Can we get the digital people to work this out for us, please? Because I don't like that echo. Anime, can you get on that, please? Okay. Proverb of the day. The one who asks questions doesn't lose his way. That's why you got the dudes on, on the picture right there with his hands up. He asking a question. The one who asks questions doesn't lose his way. Are you asking questions? Mm. Mm. Are you asking questions? The proverb of the day says that you should. The one who asks questions doesn't lose his way. Stop acting like you know everything. Start asking questions. Let me say that again. The one who asks questions doesn't lose his way. I have lost many of friends who refuse to ask questions and follow along like they understood what was going on and ended up in a horrible situation. Don't be one of those. In our pursuit of Kuji Chagalia or self-determination, we are often met with the vast and sometimes overwhelming landscape of the digital renaissance. With information at our fingertips and countless paths to explore, how do we ensure we stay true to our journey, not to his journey, not to her journey, not to their journey, but to our journey, your journey? Today's proverb offers a beacon of wisdom by asking questions, by being curious and seeking clarity, we anchor ourselves in purpose. I mean, I want to say that again, because I know I got some hard-headed people out there. Yeah, I'm talking to you. By asking questions, by being curious and seeking clarity, we anchor ourselves in purpose. Also known as Nia. That's, you know, but hold on. 
In the digital realm, where directions can sometimes be unclear, our questions become our compass, ensuring we never lose our way. Our questions become our compass. Ooh, brother, how damn you doing some writing, boy? You, I mean, you, hold on. As we navigate the digital world, let's embrace the spirit of Kuji Chagalia. Self-determination. Let's be inquisitive. Seek knowledge and determine the path with intention. For every question lies the power to shape our destiny and guide our journey towards our true self. Now, to end it up, because you got to get on the email list. And if you don't want to get on the email list, be like, Brother Tim, I don't want to take the, the I, 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 I don't, I, I don't want to take the self-mastery course. I don't want to learn about me. I don't want to go to freegnjecourse.com and get the email, the free seven-day e-course. Well, you changed my life. I don't want to do that. I'm too cool for that, man. I want the shortcut. If you want to take a shortcut, here you go. Get on the Telegram group. There you go at the bottom. Get at the Telegram right there. We got some discussions. Now, on this Telegram group, one of the things that I'm going to start doing is talking about these hotels. Now, in the email... The last few emails I've been sending out, I've been I've been sending out folk tales that I have discussed in the past, and I would give you a link where you can hear the discussion. So right now, what I want to do is I want to start discussing some of these folk tales because I'm categorizing the folk tales that I run into, and some of the proverbs that I run into, and getting them to kind of fit into the categories where we can use them. This is a folk tale that came up for the principle of the week, which is, say it with me now, Kaumba. Those of you who might be in another environment know this principle as creativity, right? Those that might not be initiated in the way, right? Know it as creativity, but those of you that's initiated in the way, you say it with me, Kaumba, right? We're in the week of Kaumba. And the folktale today is the power of instinct. The tale of the boy who drew cats. The tale of the boy who drew cats. Japanese folk tale. You know, very enlightening. You know what I'm saying? If maybe if you join me on my Telegram group, we're going to talk about that. Or maybe you might need to look it up yourself and get some lessons from the folk tale because these folk tales are for grown folks. Hold on. Anime. Stop the music. Stop the music for a second. Let them know. Let them know why we say what we say, right? Why we say what we say, right? Tell them about these folk tales. Folk tales. Folk tales. Folk tales. That's right. Folk tales. Folk tales. Folk tales. Folk tales. For those that don't know, were originally created to teach adults. <laughs> but y'all, you know, you know, we too advanced for that now, right? Yeah, right. Y'all missing out on a lot of wisdom. Now, those of you like, well, Brother Hot Tim, you didn't clap it up for the the children of the day. Okay, cool. I want to I wanna shout out the Kooji Chagalia baby, because I'm a Kooji Chagalia baby, because it's Kooji Chagalia today, right? Or Self-Determination Day, right? And those Self-Determination babies, go on, take a bow. Take a, that's right. It's your day. And those children of Kaumba, those children of creativity, guess what? It's your week. Let's give it up. And this is Brother Hot Tim. And guess what? Guess what? We out of here.